Hi there, Lorena Seidel here, and welcome to Joyful Parenting in Five Days Challenge. So for you to create joyful parenting, you must accept each other for who you are. So look at these plants and imagine that this is your plant. This is the one I'm giving to you. Do you know what your plant needs? You may know that it needs water and sun and you can talk to her, to, to the plant and sing and all that, but you may not know how much. And if you don't know exactly how much sun and water it needs, what do you do? You could research and Google and read about it, right? Now let's say you didn't like this plant. You prefer the orchid and you wish you had the orchid. So now you tell the aloe plant, can you please be an orchid? I would wish for you to be an orchid. I would love to have an orchid. A friend of mine has an orchid and I would like to have an orchid too. Can you please be an orchid? Would that help? No, you couldn't make an aloe plant into an orchid. The only thing might happen is you're gonna hurt the aloe's feelings and make her feel like she's not good enough. So now let's imagine that these are our children. We got the child that we got and maybe they are too prickly and maybe they're hard to take care of and maybe we don't even know how to take care of them. So then if we don't know exactly how to take care of them, we research, we read and that's what you're doing right now. And if you compare, you can compare your children all you want. You can wish they were different all you want. It's going to do absolutely nothing other than hurt their feelings. And maybe imagine now that those plants are the parents. We could be the prickly parent, the hard parent. And maybe we look at other parents and moms at the playground and in school and they seem they, they seem so nice and sweet and beautiful like the orchid and we wish we could be more like them. Maybe we wish we would make everything from scratch and we we're great with crafts and that we would be on the floor with our children more and that we would be great at storytelling what whatnot. But if that's not who we are, we can become something we're not. And how about if we looked for each other's strengths? If instead of seeing that this is too prickly and hard, we can see all the good properties and how healing it is and how many uses you have for the aloe plant. I'm sure that if you could look at the aloe plant and look at the strengths and look at through that lens, you would enjoy the aloe plant a lot more. So for us to enjoy parenting, we need to accept who we are and accept who our children are and stop wishing our children were different or we were different and stop comparing ourselves to other parents and stop comparing our children to other children. So what I want you to do today is create this acceptance mindset in your family. We are living in a culture that focus on the deficits and not on strengths. We test our children in school to find out what's wrong with them, what it is that they're lacking. And then when we do find that deficit, we will work on that. So we're going to do more of that, that one thing that they already don't like to do or they're not very good at doing. Now we're going to put more time and effort and energy into that. And if we could shift that and become a culture that looks for the strengths in each other. I know that if we all were to focus on the things we're good at and that God-given gift we have, and if we were to put our time and effort and energy and resources into the strengths, we would all be extraordinary. We would all do amazing things. So now for the action plan for today, I want you to go do this activity, bring this to your family. So get one plant for each member of the family and on purpose get one or two that are prettier and more attractive and some other ones that are not as attractive or as fun. And then you process this with them. So this, they can choose a plant and then, okay, this is your plant. What do you think of your plant? Um, do you wish you had a different plant? What do you know about your plant? 
Do you know exactly how to take care of it? If you don't, how would you find out? Okay, you can research or you can read about. And now let's say you don't like your plant and you wish your plant was something else. Can you make this plant into something else? How about if you get mad at it or yell at it, would that make any difference? If you compare it, no. And then you talk to them that that's, that's us. This is who we are. This is our family. We are who we are. You got the parents you got. We got the children we got. And we just need to look at each other's strengths and we need to accept each other. So that's the only way that we can create connection and harmony in our families. So good luck, um, experience this with them. People of all ages love this activity, so I'm sure they're gonna like it. And it's just a great way to start a conversation around this. So share your insights with me and with other parents in our Facebook group, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.